Well, a car damage during a terrible storm is now at the center of several state and local criminal investigations. Two investigator Dave Savini exposes the unlicensed auto repair shops in what has become a car repair nightmare. I just don't like the car. It's old. Sabrina Richards is stuck driving this 20-year-old gas-guzzling Cadillac Coupe de Ville. She's been pulled over for the muffler, ticketed for improper license plates, and the service light is constantly on. So it was misfiring? Yeah, it was misfiring. I think it needs some sort of tune-up or something. This is the loaner car she was given while her 2004 Infiniti was being repaired after it was badly damaged in a storm last summer. I just thought it needed a new windshield a, and a new hood and some different parts. What happened to her next, she says, should serve as a warning to anyone trying to use insurance money to fix their car. After two estimates, she brought the car to downtown auto sales in Stone Park, where the owner, David Allen, here in the black cap, promised he could fix it for the insurance money being offered, $15,000. You think he preyed on you? Absolutely. She thought her insurance company should have checked out Allen before letting him get a hold of her insurance check. But officials from the Department of Insurance say since Richards chose the shop, the insurance company was not responsible for checking to see if Allen's business was licensed. She says she had no idea it wasn't or that Allen had been arrested before for unlicensed auto repair. So he's had your insurance money for almost five months and you still haven't gotten your car back? Yes, it is being held hostage. Richard says the insurance company sent Allen her entire insurance check, which was cashed even though she never co-signed it. You believe he put your signature on the check? I believe so. The check shows a single S. That's how she signs her name, and it's how she signed her contract with Allen. I feel betrayed. I feel angry. I feel disgusted. We repeatedly tried to talk to Allen, but no one would open the door. He would only speak by phone and said he had problems right, finding no parts. Car, but it's a long time. I mean, you could build a car faster than that. Authorities tell CBS2 Allen's company and another one he did business with are now under investigation by a state task force that includes the Stone Park Police, which has impounded Richard's car as evidence. I want my car repaired. I want it back. It's now actually been six months since he's had her car and money. David Allen is being investigated for forgery and illegal repairs. The Illinois Department of Insurance also is investigating. Police sources say they now have uncovered information that makes them believe this may be all part of a larger ring of unlicensed shops. Authorities recommend using a repair shop licensed by the Illinois Secretary of State. You should always ask to see their license, Kate. I, I know he said that um, he was still waiting on parts, but the video of the car you just showed, I mean, six months later, it doesn't look like really anything. Far yeah. from complete. It needs a lot of work. Okay. Wow. Dave, thank you.